visual aids. And the purpose of using visual aids is threefold. One, to reinforce a main point. Two, to enhance understanding of complex material. And lastly, to save time. Nishant came here with three visual aids. Firstly was this cigarette, this broken cigarette. Then we had this picture. Can you see it from the back clearly? What has been written here? Yes. Tobacco? Are you sure? Then also he showed us this picture from Wikipedia. And lastly, he used <coughs> this. Can you read any words here from the back? You can, like here. Yes, it's hard, I know. So the main point of using visual aids is to make to make it easy for your audience to be able to relate to what you are speaking about. And as an evaluator, I had a particular issue with this particular picture because it shows clearly how smoking affects the person. When you list down all these consequences of smoking, it's quite informative, but it's important for the picture to be big enough for everyone in the room to be able to see clearly. The good thing is, with Nishant, with his enthusiasm and with his mastery of the knowledge that he actually delivered in this speech, we were able to understand what he was talking about when he was showing us this particular aid. Coming down to your topic of delivery, which is, you're talking to us about the death stick, which is actually a cigarette. <coughs> your introduction was the same as, as your title, that is the death stick, which I found it to be very innovative in terms of your title, but your first word would have been different. Perhaps if you intended to use the death stick as your first word, you'd have considered using another topic, for example, the path of death to be like the main speech title. Then now start off with the death stick. What do you think it is? Then you say, yeah, say got it. So, in terms of your introduction, it could have been better, but when you went on with the entire speech, we really got to know what exactly you wanted us to, to get to know, which is smoking is wrong, and we should strive not to take up that habit. Your conclusion was a reinforcement of your speech purpose. You went on and mentioned that the speech purpose is to show that this is a death stick and we should stop smoking. And you finished very abruptly, which may be, may be attributed to the fact that the timekeeper was seated here and you couldn't really see the signs going up because you used 7 minutes and 29 seconds, that is 1 minute, second shy of 30 seconds extra as a speaker. Pointers as you move on to your next project is that when you are using visual aids, ensure that your entire room can see because I can completely state that Helen did not see this picture, right? Because you were struggling. 
from this end. So show it to everyone. Ensure that it helps each and every person within the room to be able to see whatever you're showing. All in all, I believe that you delivered this speech very well and with the various aids that you used, I believe that you are ready to, to, to proceed on to your next project.